Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. Now, when you're first starting out in 3D, you'll get a lot of people telling you that you're doing something wrong and most probably you are doing most things wrong. But when you're learning online like I did, you'll find out very soon that there's heaps of know-it-all so-and-sos out there who think that their way is the only way and it can be hard to differentiate between good advice and bad advice. Now there isn't only one way to do something correctly and most tasks are just puzzles or problems to be solved. So stick around and let me show you what I mean. Now just quickly, I want to shout out that I now have my own website Woohoo! And it's got its own web store and it's been set up so far selling my three most popular resources Engon Pro, Matt Caps Forever and the Plasticity Screw Kit Bash Kit So check out the link in the description below and you can subscribe uh, for updates Now while I'm at it, if you are actually thinking about buying Plasticity You can use my code REFUGE10 for a 10% discount off the price of any Plasticity license Now let's crack into it now what I want to point out is that there is a logical way and a practical way to do things. Let's take this shape for example in plasticity. It's quite a simple shape. Okay, and it can be made quite easily. So I'll just show you how. So you take a, a cylinder, okay, and let's just give this a diameter of 20 and a height of uh, 15. We can do the height down here. All right. And then we take a sphere, we bring it to the end, we press Q, and we join that together. Okay, and then what we do is we create a square down here, uh, press C to make it go in all directions, and press S to make it a square. And then when you get this, end edge face square, uh, click that, and you can just press C to cut that off. Okay, and we can cut that off, and we've got that shape. Now, I was thinking about this, I saw this online actually, it was uh, somebody was asking how to make this shape and I thought I'd have a crack at it. Now if I take my measure tool out and I get this measurement, I've got like 14.085 centimeters. What if I wanted that to be exactly 15? Now I could try and scale this on everything except the Z and drag and I can nearly get there. Okay, so the first way that you could tackle it is you could think about the logical way of doing things. Okay, so as opposed to the practical way. So um, the logical way would be to use mathematics. Now I'm no maths genius, um, but a bit of Pythagoras um, tells us that the cylinder that we initially used to make this object um, in order to get this 15 centimeters needs to be the same as the diagonal of the square. So we take a square, okay, and we make that to be 15 by 15, 15 by 15, okay. We get that diagonal of that, okay, and we can see down here it's 21.21. 21. Um, I've actually done the maths uh, in the background and it's actually 21.213. So what we do is then we, we then can make a cylinder that is, um, and you know, you've had to figure this out. We can make this one 21.213. Okay, and then we can drag that up and we can make that 15. And then we can grab our sphere and we can bring that across to here to the end. Okay, and you can see that that's got the same uh, diameter there, and we just cue that in, boolean it, and then we can make our square down here as a cutter. Press S to make it a square, C to make it uh, go in each direction, and you can see there that that's 15 centimeters exactly. Okay, so we can cut that off. Okay. And so that's the logical way. We got our we got our 15 by 15. Okay. Now the practical way, um, we don't need to do nearly as much maths. Okay. And it's a little bit easier. So let's just hide this object for now. Okay. So we go into front mode. 
Okay, we make a square. We make it uh, 15 by 15. Okay, we just GV, grab the pivot, and GG to the origin. Okay, and then we grab from this menu here a three point arc. Okay, back in front mode. And we go from there to there. And then we press tab and we can go 7.5, which is half. So we get that perfect arc like that. Okay, and then we press T to trim it off. Oh, we hang on to that. We join these two together. Okay, and then we bring it back by half of what we want the uh, diameter to be. So half of 15 is seven and a half. So GY 7.5. Okay, we can do a radial array around there with a uh, number of four. Okay, patch the holes in there, get rid of our curves. Okay, we don't need those. Join these two sheets, four sheets together. Join, and then we can patch that on. G0 is fine, patch the bottom, done. Okay, we didn't need to do any like fancy calculations or anything like that. And if we unhide our other one, we'll see that these are identical. Okay, so even if we come right down to here, there is some slight, actually there's some, no, they're identical. So, and if we look at from them from above and we put this uh, circle on, you can see that they've both got nice circles. If we put our stripes on, they've both got nice stripes in both directions. And I feel like that's just a really good example of there's more than one way to skin a cat and the logical way required quite a lot more thinking to get a result because we, we knew that we wanted that 15 centimeters. Now let's just double check that the other one's 15 centimeters. It's obviously going to be 15 centimeters, right? But we had to do some Pythagoras in order to get this result. And this result, what we all had to do is just figure out what the difference between uh, 15 centimeters from here to here was, and we were done pretty much. So I'll leave that in your hands. Just I thought that's like a, a nice little tip or way of looking at things. Don't let people get you down. There's loads of ways to do things. There's definitely a wrong way to make this shape, but there's probably about 10 different ways that you could do this and get the same result um without having to uh, think as hard as you might think that you need to think all right i'll see you on the next one choose